Obobe's prophet puts self up for sale to provide his basic needs for wife and three children. Welcome to the news and thank you for turning in to listen. A cleric best in Abio Kota State, Abola Rinwa Emmanuel has put itself up to sale. This one is a case of you don't be, you don't write, as in no way pure at all, according to my worry brothers. Every corner of a, of the world globally, you know, but we in Nigeria here, we are having our own, as in we are, we are telling, telling ourselves we have not had it this bad before. I tell you, it's even worse. Unfortunately, here in this part of the world, you know, some people are saying hunger is the problem. Some are saying insecurity is, is the problem. Some people don't even think about food. What they think about is safety. Last, last. This life, no balance. The news in detail, please. Stay with us. Emmanuel said he was willing to go with any buyer willing to pay two billion naira to provide for his wife and three children. The 43 year old man, a native of Oye Kiti, Kiti State, sent an SOS to Sarah reporters on Friday saying he was fed up with the life he and his family was currently leaving and had therefore resolved to sell himself to raise money to take care of them. Previously living in Yambadon, or your state where he owned and ran a small bakery, Emmanuel disclosed that he fell on a hard time shortly afterwards, losing his entire investment and only source of livelihood. According to him, his problem began when the owner of a facility used for the bakery sold the property to another person. He thought to raise enough funds to rent another space proved difficult in the weeks that followed that development, eventually leading to the death of his business. Frustrated and confused about what next to do, Imana relocated his family to Abiyokuta in 2014 in search of a new life. Engaging in a job like grass cutting and working as a laborer's construction site just to earn some money to provide food for his wife and three children, the 43 year old simply became a cleric, hoping luck will find a smile on him. But several months after joining a church at the Kenta Idiaba area of Abiyokuta as an assistant pastor, Emmanuel is thinking of another route to end his misery. I am fed up with everything, he said while sharing the story. Nothing I, that I lay my hands on is, is working. Maybe God has abandoned me, I don't even know. My bricky business collapsed in Ibada, forcing me to move to Abiyokuta. I have searched for work in vain since moving to a good state in 2014. To survive, I sometimes cost grass, work as a labor and farms and construction site. My wife, too, has been searching for work since graduating from a teacher's college seven years ago. It was out of frustration that I went into the Ministry of Work, but the situation has not changed yet. I am fed up of life. That is why I want to sell myself so that I can give the money to my wife and children to continue their life. I will serve whoever buys me diligently and be willing to do whatever they want, he added. Asked if he was not scared that a potential buyer could kill him for richer purposes, Emmanuel said he was ready for the outcome as long as money for his wife and kids will be available. I do not mind being killed by whoever buys me. There is nothing in this life for me anymore. My major concern is to find money and give to my family to continue with their life, he said. The self-acclaimed prophet to reveal that his wife and other members do not know about his plan to sell himself stated that he was not going to back down on his plan until he achieved it, his target. I will not stop until I sell myself and raise money to give my children a better life. Nigeria has become so hard that if you do not do certain evil things, you will not be able to survive. Nobody in my family knows my plan because I do not want anybody to stop me. I must achieve my aim because I cannot continue to watch my children and wife suffer, he stated. This is when it hits you real hard. This is when, sincerely... Well, this guy is in nobody won't buy nobody will buy him because God has rejected him. I don't think so. This is not a laughing issue here. This is an issue of if K is not taken, this particular man is at the verge of sleeping if he's not already in depression. And we know that depression has stages. In fact, he's already in depression, it's just that he now, as it is, he is still saying things, you know. He's expressing himself. It will hit. It will get to a point where, or um, more, <laughs> it will hit him so hard that when he have looked at le left and right, and nobody is, you know, 
nobody is having his back, nobody is, nobody is there for him to at least actually talk to. Then he resorts to bottling it up, and you know that is when the dangerous was setting because you bottling it up, nobody knows what exactly you're thinking about. Is this how you people respond to hardship? If you jump inside lagoon, you people will be saying you should speak up. Sincerely, I don't understand. This man is, this is a way of, I, I know it is not a right way, but I, all I see is somebody who is very frustrated in this space. I see somebody who is very frustrated. And believe you me, there are millions of this kind of people outside. Like I said a lot before, he's already in depression. He's depressed. It's just that he is still at the stage where he can say what advice is wrong with him. He's not even talking about himself. Did you hear him? He does not mind being killed. That is, he's already losing it. Unfortunately, in Nigeria today, we'll tell sweet words to people who are dead and will prefer to, you know, donate things to the dead rather than help the living. That is what I found out that the society does. You see somebody who has been fighting for a very long time, maybe the person has cancer or very a kind of terminal disease. You see nobody, nobody will send the person no. Sincerely, if the person was healthy, the world will not know about you. But just come out and say, oh, this person, God forbid, this person dies of cancer. You will see the whole world come, oh, I didn't know, oh, you see. Now the oh, you can do now is to assist this person in any way you can. Nothing will even be too small. This kind of person, what will revive him is not even, the, the amount he's calling is not what he needs. I think he needs something steady. Something steady, something that will be giving him money on a daily basis, something they can take home, you know, him and his family can manage from there, from there, little by little. God bless his work of his, the work of his hands. That is just it. Now, wow, we don't reach like that. We're pressing good sellers. If my sister, this one, the matter has in eh? that's to share his area, no pure at all. You know, pure. Well, at the end of the day, unfortunately, um, unfortunately, our Nigeria, this is what people want pastors to look like. Exactly. Exactly. This is what, <laughs> okay. Well, I, I, like I said earlier on, unfortunately, here in Nigeria, we are fond of crying when the thing is too late. They said, I just wish somebody reaches out to him and, you know, the man, what he needs is, like I said, somebody, something he, that gives him money on a daily basis, something he can, he can take home that will be sufficient to feel, even if it is not more than enough. For now, something sufficient that can feed his family, that can take care of their maybe their fees and all. Sincerely, he will be super grateful. At least from one level, from him being having sufficient to take care of feeding, clothing, housing, rent, and all those little little things, then. Cannot talk about, oh, let's plan for the future. You know, person will go first crawl before you go walk on waka. I hope somebody reaches out to him pretty soon before we hear something else. Okay, on this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of the day.